An array is a rectangular grid. So here we say a is equal to starting at 1, increment each value by 1, each element by 1, till you get to 5. And so a is now equal to this array, this rectangular grid of numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now I do it again, b equals square brackets, 1, 2, 3, semicolon, that means new row place, and 4, 5, 6. And I get this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now I got a two row array or matrix. Now, what is B, row two, column two, equal to? Five. What's this guy? Row one, row two, col column one, column two. There he is. Now, for B, what are the starting, what are the first three? One through three, the first three elements in this array, this matrix. It's one, two, and three. So I get one, four, and two. Here's my B, or B array again, and B, row two, column one is four. Assign the value of 44 there, and I get one, two, three, 44, five, six. Here's A, one, two, three, four, five. A element 5 equals 5. A element 6. I don't have an element 6. Oh, a column 6. Oh, but I will put one on if I assign 89 or some number to A element 6. I don't have it. It makes it. I want to get the first two rows and the second and third columns. How do I say that? Like this, B, 1, colon, 2, comma, 2, colon, 3. So here's here's my target area in the B array. B, row, rows 1 and 2, comma, columns 2 through 3. There they are. And this is what I get, 2, 5, 3, 6. Beautiful. And that's the end so far. Bye-bye now. Thanks for listening.